Hey everybody, Jackie Gleason here, and this is uh, our first uh, factoring unit here. It's from Algebra 1. Uh, and so what you got to do first on factoring is to factor a GCF. So the first step of factoring is always look to see if you can pull out a GCF. So here's a couple of simple examples how to factor out a GCF. Okay, so what number can I, uh, goes into 5 and 15? Hopefully you guys can see that 5 does. And the biggest group of X's that I can pull out is 1X. So if I pull a 5X out of both of those right there, then uh, when I pull a 5X out of 5X squared, I'm left with X. And when I pull the 5 out of the 15, I'm left with 3, and I pulled the X out, so there's no more X right there. Okay, and factoring is the opposite of multiplying. So if you're in an algebra class, I'd say, you know, about a week before I introduce this lesson, I would say, take this answer and and multiply. So you would distribute the 5x through. 5x times x gets me 5x squared. 5x times negative 3 gets me a negative 15x. And so factoring is the opposite of multiplying. So, so if I said multiply this, it would get me to this. If I said factor this, it would get me to what times what multiplied to get me that. Okay, so what number goes into all of these? Hopefully you can see that 3 does, and I can pull an X and a Y out of all of them. There's only one X there, so I can only pull one X out of all of them. So when I pull the one, uh, the 3 out and the 1 X and the 1 Y, I'm left with just, I um, uh, pulled the 3 out, I'm left with just X squared, I pulled that Y out. I pulled the 3 out of that, so there's 6. I pulled an X out and a Y out, so I still have an X and a Y inside, and I pulled a 3 out. And the x and the y, so it's just 7, okay? And that's it factored. I just GCF'd out the 3xy, okay? And, and remember, factoring is the opposite of multiplying. So if I said distribute this through, you'd go this times this, this times this, this times this, and it should get you right back upstairs right there, okay? So factoring is the opposite of multiplying. Okay, so when I'm factoring uh, this guy, x squared plus bx plus c, I look at this number right here, and I say, what times what equals this number? But if I add those two numbers, it gets me this number right here, this b right here, okay? So here we go. Factor the trinomial. Here's number one. What factors of 6 add to 5? Okay, and hopefully you guys know that 2 times 3 equals 6. 2 plus 3 equals 5. So what this is going to be is a binomial times a binomial, an x here and x here right here. And then factors of this number that add to this number, that's what goes right here and right here. So 2 and 3 goes there. Okay? All right. Now, if I said foil this out, it would get me back up to this guy right here. Okay? So this is my answer right here. This blue guy is my answer right there. I factored it now. Okay? Now, what factors of 6 add to 7? Okay, so it's going to be x plus and then x plus factors of 6 that add to 7. 6 times 1 equals 6, and 6 plus 1 equals 7. So there's the answer right there. Okay, remember, factor is the opposite of multiplying. So if I said FOIL that out, it would get you back to that right there. All right, how about this one? Factors of, this time it's negative 6 that adds to negative 5. All right, think of all the factors of negative 6, you guys. Um, uh, 1 times negative 6 or negative 1 times positive 6, or 2 times negative 3, or negative 2 times a positive 3. Factor which pair uh, gives me negative 6 that adds to negative 5, and it's going to be a negative 6 and a positive 1. So there's my negative 6 and my positive 1. Okay, and I've now factored that. All right? Okay, how about this one? Factors of positive 6. This is a positive 6 that adds to negative 5. And a negative times a negative is a positive, so it's going to be negative 2 times negative 3. And negative 2 plus negative 3 equals negative 5. Okay, how you doing? How about this one? Factors of negative 16 that adds to 6. Okay, what times what equals negative 16? And then when I add them together, equals equals 6. Okay, hopefully you can see that 8 times negative 2 equals negative 16, and 8 plus negative 2 equals, um, equals 6. So it's going to be uh, w plus 8, w minus 2. All right, how about this one? Factors of negative 24 that add to negative 5. Okay, it's going to be a negative 8 times 3. All right, so there it is factored right there. All right, and what's good about factoring is um, uh, you can solve quadratics. If I factor this, you guys, factors of 3 that add to 4 right there, 3 and 1, so it becomes z plus 3, z plus 1. 
And then we have, when you have something, here's something right here, times something, because there's a little multiplication symbol there. If it equals 0, then you set this something equal to 0, z plus 3 equals 0, or z plus 1 equals 0. That is called the zero product property. Okay, so just set the, once you factor it, then you set the factors equal to 0. z plus 3 equals 0, z plus 1 equals 0. And then I'm going to go minus 3, minus 3. And then minus 1, minus 1. So here the threes, negative 3's cancel, and I get z equals negative 3. Here are those cancel, I get z equals negative 1. Okay, how about this one? Okay, factors of 28 that add to negative 16 are negative 14 times negative 2. And then set the factors equal to 0. So y minus 14 equals 0. y minus 2 equals 0. Then I go plus 14, plus 14, and I get 14. And plus 2, plus 2, I get 2. Okay? All right, this one here, okay, this one does not equal zero. I want to make it equal to zero first. But before I do that, I'm going to distribute this negative six through. Be careful when you distribute negative six times x. Everybody gets that, negative six x. But negative six times eight is a negative 48, you guys. So watch out when you do that. Make sure you make sure you distribute the negative through and the 6 and 8 to get the 48. Okay, now I'm going to subtract 7. I want it to be 0. I don't want it to be 7. So I have to subtract 7 to make it equal to 0. Now that it equals 0, then I say, what factors of negative 55 add to negative 6? Okay, 11 times 5 is 55. So what's well, a negative 11 times a positive 5? Okay, and then set those factors equal to 0. Okay, and then, uh, and then so you get a positive 11 or a negative 5. All right. Okay, guys, uh, take care. And if you're in my class, well, yeah, if you're in my class, I would probably assign you something like that. Take care, you guys.